Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. Yeah. Looking in the mirror, you know them ones. It's like train. I'll go home. I don't remember the first time I walked into the gym. What I do remember is when I was 13, I saved up my pocket money, which was very scarce, few and far between, and I bought a bar and some weights and some dumbbells, and I started training in front of my mirror. I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but I just knew that I wanted to look muscly. First time I went into a gym, kind of as an adult, with the intention of changing my lifestyle, it was probably like five years ago, actually, five, six years ago. I was watching myself on, on TV and, you know, I was seeing my stomach protruding through my, my T-shirts and my chest was flat and I just wanted to make a change. Squats and lunges was something that I'd never really done. My trainer's always talking about, you know, building up your core and like helping your back by doing that stuff. But the first time he got me to do it was proper intense. And the next morning I woke up, I couldn't move. Couldn't move for like literally three weeks. I was bedridden, like my back had gone completely. But like, I don't really fail in the gym like that. You get me? When I walk into the gym, I always want to do chest. Chest and arms, really. When it comes to cardio, I'm not about that life. It's hard work, but something that needs to be done. Phone would be my number one thing, because I can't like, I'm in there and I'm, you know, you're going hard, you're going ham, and then you see people just like, but you're waiting for that machine or you're waiting for that, you know what I mean, that bench or whatever, and they're just in between every set. Yeah, 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 for real, yeah, man. Yeah. Looking in the mirror, you know them ones, it's like train or go home. People following me around to every station that I go to, and then eventually like 45 minutes in going, you're the Shane, innit? I'm like, bruv, I'm, I'm training. Keep my headphones in, even when there's no music playing, just to pretend like I'm listening to music a lot of the time. Because it's a space, innit, that you just kind of want to be in your own zone and stay focused or whatever, and kind of leave your whatever's outside, outside. But it's difficult to do that when you're your kind of your face is known, man. This is not me just being diplomatic, but I think um, Kane, Kane would last the longest. Kane is in good, good physical shape. So is Michael saying that, but I think Kane, stamina wise, would last the longest. I'd be out of the game first, probably. That's, that's reality. What I wanted from the beginning is for fitness to become a part of my lifestyle, you know? So what I eat, you know, how I train or whatever has just become just another part of my day. So huge demand and pressure to look a certain way on camera all the time. You know, every piece of food I put in my mouth or whatever, I'm thinking about calories. I'm thinking about, you know, what carbs are gonna do to me, etc., etc. Done a lot of photo shoots that just, you know, off my own back just to make sure that I could put these pictures up and remind myself of like where I want to be. But that sometimes can be quite disheartening because sometimes I come in there and I'm like, I, I don't look like this anymore. You know what I mean? But it does motivate you to like run a bit harder, to go a bit harder. To be the best at anything that you do, you know, you've got to be slightly obsessed with it. To any young person watching this, it's good to start early, I think, to kind of make this become part of your daily routine and your lifestyle. What you eat is just as important as how you train. This is not just about physically and aesthetically looking great. It's also about feeling good inside and that's in your body and your mind as well. This, what I do here is so, so good for my mental health. Stay determined and take it easy. Don't rush.